Hello everyone, it's Deli here and welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Orphanage Challenge. This is the last part of me pre-recording this series because I have been in LA and this has all been pre-recorded. So I will be back for the next part. So get busy in the comments down below. Let me know how you think it's going, what you want to happen next. And today I think we are going through with our first adoption of our Sims. The twins both completed their aspirations before aging up and one of them has made friends with their future dad and the other one was and getting along with a mum in a super close way so we have to work on that a little bit before they can both move in but I definitely want to keep them together as twins. Arla I think is ready to ask Ms. Darcy on a date so they're gonna have a little bit of a midnight date tonight. Ooh, Let's get into it. Also I don't have a tea uh so cheers with my imaginary glass and fist pump to you guys. Hope you're good and well. That was kind of like super awkward, wasn't it? So Darcia has crept upstairs into Missy's room and she's actually downstairs working on some artifacts. She's not allowed to use the dresser, but she wants to look extra pretty tonight. So she's gone ahead and snuck in, unlocked the door and is just getting ready for poten potential date. Cause she probably has a feeling that Arlo is gonna ask her out tonight. They've probably been talking about it. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be my first date with a guy. Probably super nervous. She looks great. She's gone with the all black look again because we do that every time for her. She looks so beautiful. I love her. I absolutely love her. Oh, and it looks like Saturn knows she's going to go out with her. Saturn has a new aspiration because I was really silly. Uh oh, get out of the room because I think that's the sound that it makes. Okay, get out of the room, lock the door. Maybe she has found a secret key or something um locked door for everyone but missy there we go and she i think okay she did complete that artifact she keeps going to the gravestones and crying and i just i don't know why she keeps doing that maybe she did have a lover who passed away okay let's mail back this artifact oh it looks like a good one and another three thousand smallings we are making good money from this work i have to say um it's lucky that she has that as, as an option we've also got a lot of fixing tools and stuff like that that we can also sell you know we're not doing too badly in this household oh my gosh we got a thousand simoleons for that how did we i don't even know where we find this stuff but that's good missy's like all right good night everyone i'm off to sleep saturn's like good night maybe saturn's keeping the watch for the date now saturn i thought might have actually started to get a little bit close to arlo but there is no romance there so i thought there could have been a love triangle but there isn't at this stage so i think darcy is gonna you know get ready to go out um it's really cold at the moment too so i feel like she should probably wear like proper clothing oh she's like oh my gosh you look amazing <laughs> Yeah, let's have like a little pep talk moment. It's like, have fun on your date. I'll make sure to call you if Missy wakes up, okay? I'll cover you. <laughs> I imagine they're like putting pillows under a doorway. Oh my gosh, I thought there was a cat in here. Okay, so let's go over here. Ask to swing with. Um, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Romance, can we ask out on date? Yay, we can. Okay, Saturn, it's time for you to leave them alone. They've got to have their little moments. Um, you should go read another book. Why didn't didn't you finish reading? Did you re did you finish this one? Re read that one. Okay. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Doesn't she look beautiful? He's like, wow, you look so pretty. Did you ask her out on a date? No, come back. It's like, hey, do you want to go out on a date with me? Secret date. <laughs> where should they go? I don't know where they should go at night time. Hmm, maybe they should just go to the Bluffs. The Bluffs is kind of a cool place to go. Hopefully there's not lots of other Sims there though. I hope it's private. But I think it's so romantic that Arlo's taking her out at nighttime when she's the most bored and no one's ever awake because she can't sleep. Oh, and he's even dressed in his beautiful clothes as well. Let's give her a heartfelt compliment and also compliment her outfit he has to say you look beautiful tonight put your phone away she's probably um messaging saturn date with a ghost she's like thank you so much oh he's like don't don't make a fool of yourself okay i say we turn the romance on main goal, goal socialize with your date sit and talk to your date flirt with your date while flirty well let's um compliment appearance once more and then 
should we just go for the flirt? I don't know. I'm kind of nervous too. And we'll find somewhere to sit and talk. Okay, the flirt went well. The flirt went well, everyone. Oh, we could light a bonfire over here, but there's not really anywhere to sit down. I guess he could light it to keep her warm, but it kind of sucks that there's nowhere for them to sit. And dance together. Oh my gosh. Will they? No, cozy up with, cozy up with. Oh, this is so cute. Can you please not start a fire though? Cause that would just be no good. Can you please get off your phone? You're as bad as me. Like when you're out with people being on your phone is so bad and I do it all the time. I really have to consciously not. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest date ever. This is really, really sweet. Okay, they're just cozying up a little bit. Reveal the crush as if it's not already obvious enough. Oh. This is really, really sweet. Exchange numbers, I feel like we're past that stage. They're just watching the flames. It's a beautiful moment, embrace. I wanna go on this date. Ooh, flirty, flirty flames. A cozy fire sim is all it takes to ignite the heat. Okay, attempt to seduce your date. Um, oh, first kiss. I feel like we should work up to the first kiss because that's like the biggest moment. How do we seduce? Uh, get a flirty conversation by making the right moves. I don't know, why does he keep getting like all awkward and angry? Stop that. <laughs> Hug. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. This is too much. This is too much for me. Attempt to seduce. I don't like the word seduce because it feels like it's meant to be dodgy, but we'll do it anyway just to complete this date challenge because I like winning stuff. Oh, it's almost 6 a.m. They've got to get back soon. Kiss, kiss. Oh my gosh, there's not even an option to kiss yet. Sit and talk to your date. Okay, let's find somewhere to sit. Is this a seat? We need a seat for you guys to talk and sit at. Oh, okay, we already did that. Go for the kiss. It'll be really romantic next to the, to the bonfire. Oh, she's gonna kiss a ghost. Ah, that is really sweet. Oh, they've waited so long for this beautiful moment. Oh, I love it. Don't pass through. But the saddest thing is she's gonna keep growing up and he's gonna be, he's gonna be stuck as a ghost. So what are we gonna do? Do we keep like, is she, does she die and become a ghost as well? Or does he come to life? and then they can kind of live happily ever after. I feel like that's probably a better option. This was the cutest date ever, but I feel like they should get home before Missy wakes up and finds out. I don't know if he should ask her to be his girlfriend. Maybe? I mean, I don't really see why they'd go see anyone else, so let's ask to be girlfriend. You guys really need to get home. Oh, and as the bonflower flames go out, they finish their night together. And he's not even that tired, you guys. All right, well, let's head home back to the orphanage. Oh, we still have the rest of the date to go. Let's end it early. Yay, gold medal earned. We've got a, something special in your Sims house. Hold inventory to help remember it. Okay, let's head back home, guys. That was such a romantic date. Mm. I want to go on a date like that. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. Sounds like, where are they? They should be home soon before Missy wakes up. Oh dear. And Fiona, you should get a few more winks. Get a little bit more sleep. Oh, and Bloodalyn's really thirsty again. I mean, we can check one more time to see if that um, plasma fruit bush has grown. And what are you doing over here? Oh, he's already up and, and riding away. Maybe these two can have like some quick little socialized moments together. And, um, Surely they're close to becoming BFFs. Surely. I guess you have to get to the end of this relationship bar. I'm not sure. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Wait, who is this? Is she flirting with another guy? What? 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 No. What was that? She doesn't even know him. Who is this Daryl? Who are you? That was so weird. She doesn't even know him, but she was like flirting with him. That was disturbing. Never do that again. Oh, these two are such good friends. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, double hugs, double hugs all around. I wanna be best friends forever. I feel like it's an option to pick become BFFs. I swear that's what I remember. Stop doing homework. It's time to like make friends. 
Also, you should probably change your outfit into your normal clothes so that nothing is suspected. And Arlo, what are you doing? You should probably change your clothes too <laughs> into something more normal and go to bed. She is absolutely swooning. Oh my gosh, Saturn needs to come upstairs and hear about everything. So nice of her to stay up all night. Ask about woohoo. Be like, did you woohoo? <laughs> She'll be like, no, we just kissed. Oh look, the butler's hanging out with the kitties. He's like, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> And these two are just gonna cloud glaze for it. Cloud glaze? Glaze the cloud like a donut. <laughs> cloud gaze for a little while. Uh, and meanwhile, Darcy is filling in satin with all the goss. Boast about messing around a little bit. All the books are doing really well too, which she should probably be making some of the money from. She's like, yeah, we kissed. It was really romantic. Next to a bonfire. Sounds like, really? I can't wait for that to happen to me. It was good. Sniff fresh clothing. What? She's like, I'm so excited for you. I could eat because she's an alien. She doesn't have an appetite. Oh, and Missy has really slept in. Luckily, luckily for them, she slept in. Okay, how are you guys going? Does this even lift your relationship? Whoa, it really does. Oh my gosh, these guys are so close now. I don't want them to all become best friends forever. I don't want them ever to get separated though. Oh, and she'll always be stuck as a child if she doesn't get to eat plasmas. Oh, that's so sad. And she just walked away from him? Why? Okay, so she needs to become friends with three other children become friends with two adults and achieve level 10 social skills. So she's got it. She's got some friends to make, um, Bladolin does. And with other kids too. Okay, well, I think it's time to get these twins up because today's the day. Today's the day that we finally get a child adopted. How exciting, yay! Oh no, Allo's going through that stage of turning up loud music and stuff. Good grief. I feel like Missy should come downstairs and be like, what is wrong with you? Throw a drink at him. That's so mean. Influenced to mop puddles as a punishment. <laughs> and you, my friend, you need to have a little bit of a shower. Oh, the poor little thing is thirsty. Oh, she looks so snobby as she walks around. Hey, what are we going to do with these? Can we like sell these little weird gnome things? Let's just sell them. You actually get a lot of money for the gnomes from Harvest Fest. It's like a really lucrative holiday. Okay, so you're in a beautiful mood, Fiona. Felix is just needing a shower, then he'll be in a beautiful mood. And then we can go back to their parents' house. I might actually swap over to the parents and invite them over and then invite them to their household. Oh, but first up, we do need to take selfies. Um, so let's take a selfie. First, let me take a selfie. There we go. Cause we want to put like a picture of all of them um, on the on the wall. Actually, maybe we should take a picture of another person instead of like a selfie. Cause that's kind of weird, isn't it? Can we zoom? Damn it. It's a little bit far out, isn't it? Oh my gosh, where'd she go? Oh, she's over here. Oh, this is so sad. I'm sad that they're gonna leave. There's a picture of Felix. Maybe we'll brighten it up with a filter. I always take a photo with a filter, like always, unless you for some reason have crazy good natural light, which I'm sorry, it's just not very often that that happens. Okay, and then we're going to move those photos to her inventory. Oh, and then they've, all, they've got all of these pictures we could put up on the walls to remember them. I'm so sad. That one sucks. Okay, we'll just put two up. We made money from them. It's all about making money from the kids. It's horrible. <laughs> okay, well guys, I think you need to say goodbye. I mean, you, they can visit each other, but I think we need to, you know, give a hug, say goodbye to the other kids and yeah. Oh look, he's like having his last moments on the swing with his little clay ball, precious. It's like, maybe one day we can be girlfriend, boyfriend. You're the best friend ever. I'm gonna miss you and all your vampire powers. Maybe Fiona will do like a little tease cause they never fully got along, but they kind of got along. Like they weren't in the red, so you know. She's not that nice. 
but hopefully they can at least be friendly. He's like, she's just kidding, Bloodalyn. Oh, look at Darcia. She's running to say goodbye to them. She's like, oh, I'm going to miss you guys so much. Let's get a picture before you leave. Oh, and here comes Saturn as well. She's like, see you guys. Have the best time. Can't wait to meet you and your family. Woo! And one last ghost scare from Arlo. <laughs> it's like, don't forget about me. All right, let's take them to their new home. All right, we're back at the new house. Missy's just standing back, I guess. Come on in. Hey. Yay. And we are now friends with Lynn. So I think it's time that we can switch to Lynn and Jonathan's household and see if they can move in. Okay, I think what we'll do is cheat it a little bit and do the add to family because we did say that for this challenge, they would just need to be friends, which we have attained because um, the move in option isn't there. So they've now properly moved in and oh my gosh, you can, you cannot do that. <laughs> oh no, adopt as care dependent. Um, hug lovingly, and then we need to discipline that behavior, I think. Uh, discipline recent behavior calmly, and please ask not to make a mess, because rules are different here, okay, Felix? <laughs> and she's like, are you going to adopt me? Yes! The adoption has happened. Oh, look at them. This is such a cute family moment. So this is their first night together. They must be so stoked. Wait, I never actually thought to check that these guys were a couple. Uh-oh. Wait, I just want to check this couple's backstory. So it says, we're the Barkers and are looking for any child that could fill our beautiful home with love again. We have wanted nothing more than to hear the pitter-patter of tiny feet on our floors and for it to be scattered in toys, coloring pens, artwork, and stuffed animals. After our sad loss of our firstborn in a devastating car accident, I, Lynn, was told I could never have children again. So we hope that in your orphanage there is that special someone who can make our lives complete. Oh, yay. And this was by Olivia Willis 0703. So thank you so much, Olivia, for the beautiful couple. We love them. They're great. Well, maybe we'll get um, the dad to serve a family meal. I know there's like beans, but oh no, there, there are beans. Okay, I didn't realize if it was a full bowl or not, but let's call everyone to meal so that they could have their first family dinner together. And then I think we'll finish this off by just making sure that the kids have a nice bedroom and not just the toddler beds that are currently there. And it's raining outside, so are we all gonna sit in the rain? We are, well, that is just marvelous, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, at least they're happy all together. That's what the main thing is, right? Am I right? Okay, well, let's have a look at this bedroom situation because this is really not looking like it's suitable for either of them. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and changed the curtains for starters. And I feel like maybe something along these lines would be cute, like something more neutral and not too like toddlerish. Still gonna be kiddish. Or maybe we could do like a nice ombre room. That could kind of be cool. Or just a nice bright blue room, like super bright, super happy. And then for the kids' beds, they could have matching beds maybe. We could go with this cloudy ombre theme still. And it's cute. They have like two areas for their desks. They could have like a single desk each on either side. I know if we're gonna fit in a wardrobe though, that's my only concern. Where will the wardrobe go? Um, if this bed goes over here, it's still not quite gonna fit, is it? If we move the door to one side, we can probably add in like just a wardrobe in the corner here for them to both share. This is where their clothes can be with their little pictures. Get some modern side tables. I want some more friendly looking side tables. Like these ones look a little cold and not quite as kid friendly. We could just go with the blue idea again. With some books next to either either bed. And I really like this bookshelf over here, but maybe we can choose a different color that kind of works. Actually, it's looking like we have way too much blue, isn't it? So maybe that first one wasn't such a bad idea, having a bit of yellow in there. I think a toy box is probably necessary so they can still play with all of their toys and all of their goodies. And maybe they can both have a diary each. So one over here. I kind of feel like this chair should be a different color. Maybe we do orange or maybe greeny, greeny blue. 
So we'll put another diary over here with a little monster on it. And then I guess we just need some side lamps. I feel like this is a good lamp for Fiona because she loves sport. So she can have the soccer ball. And then maybe over here can just be something a little more artsy. What about a robot? I mean, robots are cool. It's not like super artsy fartsy, but robots are just like, you know, you can build them if you want to. They're, they're pretty, pretty sick. Couple of shroom lights next to either or either or either or both of the beds either or the of the beds maybe just some posters above the beds because now they can decorate their bedrooms however they like eee! so exciting oh wait oh yeah this is a good side for fiona's posters gotta get a sims poster in there absolutely there we go now they have a gorgeous bedroom with all the all the things they need in there and i think they're gonna be very comfortable in their new home and very happy so let me know if you think we should adopt another child or if we should just keep on with the ones that we have and maybe get a pet instead let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys so much for watching this part i hope you enjoyed it and as always i hope you're having a lovely morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world i will speak to you soon so, so.